this is taken at Aberton. This is basically a rookery. You can see the rooks' nests. Um, and as Howard said, they often, you know, hang around and, and don't tend to go too far. They're, they're quite gregarious birds. And um, it's not uncommon to see them roosting along with jackdaw. So obviously you've got rook, rook and jackdaw on this picture. Um, good, good examples of the difference in size between the two species. Um, and you tend to find that rook and jackdaw associate with each other, but carrion crow tend not to do so. They, they, they're not always a solo bird, but they don't tend to associate with, with rook and jackdaw that readily. Um, just a closer view of the, of the same uh, tree, the same scene. Again, you can see the difference in size between the birds and structure. Um, and uh, just examples of jackdaw um, and rook in flight. So you've got rook on the left of the screen, there's three birds on the left, and the rest of the birds on the screen are jackdaw. So you can see they're much shorter winged, much smaller birds, uh, completely different flight profile. Um, coming on to carrion crow, uh, carrion crow, a much neater looking bird than rook. So They've got a, a um, quite a large bill um, with a, a sort of more pronounced curve towards the end of the bill and feathering that comes halfway along the, the top part, the corman of the bill. Um, and they tend to have a, a sort of a flatter profile to, to the head overall, not quite as peaked as, uh, as you'll see with Rook in a, in a second. Um, also a bit neater on the, the belly and the, and the legs um, around the thighs, um, just quite neat overall. Um, rook, um, adult rook will have the, the pale face, um, which is uh, they're very well known for, and they have a very flat forehead with a, often a, a peak on the crown, um, as you can see on this picture here, and they tend to look a bit scruffier. Um, their wings often hang a little bit looser than, than carrion crow when they're at rest, and, and their underparts again are more, more fluffy um, and just generally scruffier looking bird. Um, and uh, this is a, a good good example of a, a possible confusion species because this is actually a bird that I took a picture of in with the rookery. And to start with, I thought it may be a, a young rook. Um, but then on closer inspection, if you look at the shape of the bill, uh, the fact that it's got that more pronounced curve at the end, um, the feathering halfway along, this is actually a young carrion crow, even though it's showing a, a bit of a peak to the crown. Um, I read up and, and they can sometimes, if they're in an excited state, uh, they can they can raise their feathers on their crown. So this is just, this is actually a young carrion crow. Um, this is a young rook. Uh, so I took a picture of this at uh, Aberton. So you'll see the face hasn't gone fully um, pale yet. There's still some feathering on the top part of the bill. I, I don't know um, whether this is maybe a second year bird, but you can see the start of the of the um, bald patch developing on on the bill. So it's still got some feathering on the top part of the bill, which it will lose when it becomes a full adult. Um, this one is an uh, adult bird, which I, I took um, uh, on the way to work, actually, the other day. I saw a rookery and pulled over, took a few pictures, um, a few minutes late, but a good excuse. Um, and you can see here that the shape of the bill is completely different. It's got a much straighter or much more evenly graduated curve on the top of the bill. It's a thinner bill and it's got more pointed at the end. Um, and you can see very clearly here the flat forehead and, and the peaked crown. And the fact that the bird just looks a bit scruffy. Um, and then you've got the little bird, the jackdaw. Um, so jackdaw have got the grey nape, um, much smaller bill and a pale eye as well. And I'm not sure what this one was eating. I think it might have been a snail, but um, whatever it is, it doesn't look particularly appetising. Um, and then just did a profile of the three. I hang, uh, hasten to add, this isn't to scale. Um, jackdaws aren't that big, um, but it just gives you an idea of, of the difference in structure between the birds. Carrion crow on the left with the neater, sort of slimmer profile and the much bigger bill. Rook in the middle, as we've already said, with the pointy longer bill and, and the angled forehead and the scruffier appearance. And the jackdaw on the right, which is a smaller build, much smaller bird with the grey nape and, and the uh, pale iris. In flight, um, carrion crow appears broader winged, shorter winged, squarer tailed. Um, and the rear um, or trailing edge of the wing is, is uh, sort of bulges out. Um, so that gives it that broad winged appearance. Um, look, is a, a straighter edge to the trailing wing, mm. and it's got a rounder edge uh, into the tail, and obviously a different profile on the, on the head and bill there. And uh, jackdaw again, much smaller, shorter, more compact, neater looking bird, with a much quicker flight action as well. Um, and again, just to show the differences between the three there, um, simultaneously, so you've got carrion crow on the left, jackdaw in the middle this time, and, and rook on the right. Um, so you've got raven, this was uh, taken at Aberton. There's been a pair of raven um, frequenting the area for the last few weeks, to be fair. We, hopefully they're looking and prospecting for somewhere to nest. I think they like nesting on 
uh, on these pylons. Um, so that, that's something to look out for in the new year. Um, and I snapped this picture at distance, of course, but you can see on the right hand side, I think it looks like a rook. Um, I would imagine from the profile, it might be a carrion crow, but it looks like a rook. Um, but you can clearly see the difference in size with the raven on the top of the pylon there. Mm. Um, picked it up from its cronking noise as well. The raven's got a very sort of deep guttural cronking call. The rook is a, 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 a very much a sort of a monotone, um, you know, arc type call. It's a, a bit of a, a bit of a dull call, but it's a, a great, you know, around the graveyards and stuff. It fits in quite nicely. Um, carrion crow is your, your traditional cawing crow. And jackdaws, of course, uh, sound like they're saying their name as they fly over. Mm. Um, raven in, in flight, long winged, uh, wedge shaped tail and a very big, heavy bill, of course. Um, got some more close pictures of ravens here. Um, again, you can see the big heavy bill, um, extensive feathering on the coolman of the bill um, and the throat feathers. Uh, they, they are often quite prominent as well. So just generally a massive bird, as you can see. Um, and Stuart Reid uh, took some pictures, um, obviously at distance, but cracking pictures where you can see the two Aberton ravens um, next to a buzzard. And so you can clearly see raven, you know, the raven is the same size, if not slightly bigger, to be fair, on this occasion than the buzzard. Yeah, awesome. Um, so, yeah, awesome. Bird. And of course, the final one that we uh, don't really get in this part of the country, but you get them, I think, more sort of northern and, and western parts of the country or northwest of the country. And um, that's the hooded crow, um, which is basically, the, uh, uh, you know, similar to carrion crow, but just obviously more of a grey and black appearance. But other than that, structurally very similar.